Are we feeling the same way? Are we all feeling the same way? Part of ourself is bleeding. We are heartbroken and it's normal to be heartbroken because we all wanted to see that. But part of us is happy. And the truth is, this gauntlet match was putting us in a strange ass position. This gauntlet match put us in a position of we don't know who we want to see more. Sami Zayn or Chad Gable or Dominic Mysterio, of course, or JD McDonough, of course, of course, JD McDonough. Uh, change something, JD. You need to change something desperately or oh, come over there and I'm going to slap the freak out of you. You know, my heart is bleeding for Chad Gable. His promos were impeccable. His promos were real. His promos felt right here. And I really wanted Chad Gable versus Gunther at WrestleMania. And we all have seen the backstage segment with Chad Gable when they asked him, what is next for Chad Gable? Is he going to be on WrestleMania 40? Is he going to try to get his way against Gunther? And he said, no, this is Sammy's story. Because Sammy had his own version of this is more than just a championship match. For Sammy, this is real as well. Sammy is never on WrestleMania, even though he main evented last year's WrestleMania. But Sammy is having a spotlight right now. But I'm pretty sure that Sammy is not going to dethrone Gunther. Even though Sammy is an actual contender and Sammy is actually a main event superstar against Gunther, who... I believe he never main evented any pay-per-view, but still, Sami's over there, he has a real chance, but I feel like the story of Chad Gable is more satisfying for the fans, more real to the fans. It, heal, it hits here because his daughter is small and he, she cried. That's, that's why we want him to win. But as I said, my heart is bleeding for the man. My heart is broken my heart is torn apart and we all have seen this image when Sami Zayn is talking to Chad Gable do you guys know what they have talked to each other they haven't shared but I know I know that what they have said to each other Sami Zayn said Sami Zayn Sami Zayn said I'm gonna give you my spot against Gunther and I'm gonna go for the world championship and you're gonna have Gunther 1v1. And that's gonna actually happen. That's why Chad Gable is not gonna try to interfere into their match because he knows that Sami Zayn is gonna give his spot. And Sami Zayn is gonna actually face Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. And, and because Seth Rollins on Monday Night Raw said that Drew McIntyre is not a threat to him. Now when Sami Zayn is into the mix, he's going to become more concerned about the title. More than ever. A lot of people say that Seth Rollins just demoted his title when he said that the tag team title match is more relevant for him than his own title. But I don't think this is the case. He just wanted to strike a nerve against Drew. And he almost did. And I really want the best version of Drew McIntyre. I kind of want Drew McIntyre to bring back the Scottish psychopath. This is the version of Drew that I really enjoyed. He was not talking a lot. He was just dropping people. But anyway, now we're talking about Chad Gable. And I feel like if we don't get Chad Gable against Gunther at WrestleMania 40, maybe we can get it on SummerSlam. But it's not going to hit the same. It's not going to be that satisfying, especially if it's not in the main event. So, WWE, Triple H, work your magic and do it, please. Because I love Sami Zayn, but I feel like he can have bajillion other moments with a little bit more relevant title, the world title. Let's make this guy the face of the company. I'm just kidding. There are too much people right now. And I'm pretty sure that Edge is at AEW because... Earlier this year, you said, Edge, I'm sorry, brother, but there are too many good people in this company and there is not enough highlight for everyone. So can you please do something else in order for us not to waste you? And probably they have said that to some other superstars as well. But anyway, that's just a theory, a wrestling theory. <laughs> Shout out 
MatPat and uh, thank you for all the years of good theory about everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace.